Dan Larson here, and I'm at the photo booth to compare the newly released Star Wars The Black Series 6-inch uh, Princess Leia with the even more newly released 40th anniversary Star Wars The Black Series 6-inch Princess Leia. The regular Leia was released, uh, technically released late last year in 2016, but I wasn't able to add her to my collection until January of 2017. It is now February if you need to update your calendar. Here at Toy Galaxy, we just posted our review of the 2016 regular Leia. Be sure to give that video a look if you haven't already. We shot it the week before Toy Fair. Uh, and then it was posted uh, the Tuesday after. Uh, at Toy Fair, Hasbro not only officially displayed the 40th anniversary packaging for the 6-inch Black Series line, but they also had a limited supply available for purchase uh, via HasbroToyShop.com. I was lucky enough to be following a Twitter account called Preternia at, at Preternia.com. That's, the dot was spelled out, so check them out. Um, they were uh, uh, they were live tweeting the presentation, so I was able to hop over to Hasbro Toy Shop really quickly. Uh, I'm guessing the stock that was available at that moment sold out pretty quickly. Uh, I'm an opener, so even though the new 40th anniversary packaging is uh, is pretty cool, I'm not keeping it. So most of the first wave is an easy pass for me. Uh, that said, they uh, will be putting out some additional figures. Uh, you've got, uh, so, Han, Luke, Leia, Chewbacca, Stormtrooper, C-3PO, Obi-Wan, R2, Vader. Uh, the Vader's different, but all those other figures have been released before. I already have those in my personal collection, so I'll be passing on all those. I don't need the packaging. But uh, Jawa, Tusken Raider, and the uh, uh, Death Squad Commander, uh, I'll definitely be grabbing those. Uh, I bought Leia specifically because it was pointed out during the Hasbro presentation that uh, they had revisited the head of the figure, uh, I thought it was just a repaint, but uh, word had it that it was uh, might actually be a completely redone sculpt. Um, so uh, they, they basically were uh, tacitly admitting that uh, the initial effort was terrible. Uh, so anyway, I bought this intending to open it, so here goes. This, uh, this is already open, so I'm just going to yank this open real quick here. Stand her up, get her guns, Stormtrooper blaster, regular blaster, and then over here we have <whistles> that up, drop her out. There we go, reframe that a bit. All right, so we've got uh, same exact weapons. There's no difference here between the uh, Stormtrooper Blaster is exactly the same. A little bit of silver paint on there, and then her signature Leia Blaster is exactly the same as well. Let me see if I can get these guys, uh, these gals, a little closer here. So you can really, really appreciate the changes. All right, there we go. Maybe reposition my lights a little bit. There, that's better. All right, so it's uh, it's pretty clear that it is a complete, completely new sculpt. It is not just a repaint. Uh, they absolutely made the effort to replace that head entirely, and it really, really, really does make a huge, huge difference. Uh, they really don't even look like the same. Uh, character, much less the same person. Uh, might not be easy to see on here, but I think the buns are different. I think the way her hair lays on the, the on her scalp here on her forehead is different. Uh, the paint application is very clearly different. Uh, everything from the neck down appears to be exactly the same. The robe, the hood, all that stuff is exactly the same. Uh, but there's no question that that face is completely, utterly different. Uh, look, it's not the first time that there's been a running change in an action figure. This stuff happens pretty regularly, whether whether it's due to materials or... I mean, go back and look at the vintage Star Wars line. Big head Han, small head Han. You know, that's one of the most <laughs> infamous uh, running changes in the line that, uh, that there is. 
Uh, and sometimes the molds break sometimes. So it seems like pretty terrible planning on this. You know, uh, this Leia just, just barely came out. Most places that wave hasn't even hit the shelves yet and they've already issued a, a correction or release on it. So you know what, if you haven't bought this one yet, congratulations, you don't need to just buy this one. But uh, if you are a completist, you're probably gonna wanna have both of them. So you may just want to, and if you're someone who keeps them in the package, you, then you're definitely gonna need to have number uh, 30 in your collection on your shelf. Uh, to have all those boxes. So you're probably gonna have to buy both. So kind of stinks, but you know what? This is actually a really fantastic figure. The face is really incredible. The likeness is really nice until, uh, you know, maybe Figure Arts or Mafex or one of the other imports uh, decides to produce a Leia. I just noticed here that uh, my Leia has a mark on her nose. I have to see if I can take care of that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to grab uh, any of the 40th anniversary figures, uh, or if you already picked up uh, most of them the first time around, or if you're just done with the Black Series uh, and uh, you're just gonna stick to imports from now on. I'm gonna see if I can get this dot off her nose. Later.